Hey guys, and welcome to day four of my five day ab challenge. So I'm gonna do a few in standing this time. So I wanted to um, show you guys a couple of things you can do in standing for your abs. Um, so this is day four of five. Um, and the first thing we're gonna do is called a high knee. So this is kind of a high intensity cardio type move. Um, so you can do it, you can try to time yourself. I'm gonna try to do, a, what we're gonna shoot for is one minute. If that's too easy, then obviously you can increase your time. Um, use the timer on your stopwatch or on, um, your phone, or even if you have a clock near wherever you're doing your workouts, okay? So high knee, um, you're gonna just, I'm just gonna step back so you can hear me, and high knee, I put my hands up so that I have a target, and all you're gonna do is just, and you're gonna time yourself, and you're gonna feel this <laughs> in your core. So even though it doesn't seem like we're doing a crunch, you're still using your lower abdominals to pull um, your, your knee up. So again, you can do this slow if you can't do the, high, the faster pace. So we can do it at this pace, we can just do marching, if that's where you need to start, or you can go all in, okay? So that's the high knees. The next one we're gonna do is called a wood chop. So this is kind of a dynamic move. You're gonna be going from side to side um, in diagonal patterns. Diagonal patterns are very functional and they kind of work all of your different muscles. Um, so it's called a wood chop. You're gonna try to do 30 seconds on each side. And again, if it's too hard to do 30 seconds, start with 10 seconds on each side or 15 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna step back and show you guys. So all you're doing is you're gonna start up and go down, up and pull down kind of like you're chopping wood, okay? So like, imagine that you have a ax in your hand and you're going down, okay? And my knees are bending, let me step back so you can see my knees a little bit. So up and down, up and down. You're gonna follow your hands, your eyes are gonna follow your hands and go up and down. And then you'll go to the other side, up and down, okay? So your head and your eyes follow your hands and we're shooting for 30 seconds on each side. If that's too easy, bump it up to a minute, okay? So the next ones we're gonna do are down. Let me just make sure I'm checking my list here. Um, the next ones we're gonna do are gonna go down, so I'm gonna just move the camera a little bit over this way. Okay, so we're gonna do what's called, this is kind of a yoga move, and it's called downward dog splits. So I'm gonna go back here, and again, we're gonna be trying to do this for um, 30 seconds on each side. This is a tricky one, um, so if you can't do 30 seconds, start with 10 seconds. Start with 15 seconds, or maybe just do one or two reps on each side. So for you guys that have not done yoga, when you do a downward dog, you want your hands turned out slightly. So we're gonna turn our hands out slightly, start on your knees, and then you're gonna push your booty up towards the ceiling. You're gonna take your right leg up, and then you're gonna kind of bring it in, okay? Up and in, doing that little crunch. Okay, I'll show you what it looks like on the other side. So you're gonna take that left leg up, and kind of pull it in like this. As you're going forward into your plank, make sure you're looking a couple inches in front of your hands. Okay, so that's called a downward dog split crunch, um, and it's a, tr it's a tricky one, um, but it's a good one. So the last two we're gonna do are on the ground. This next one is called a reverse crunch. I'm sure you guys have all done this before, so again, we're gonna be on our back, and you know I put my hands underneath the small of my back just for some extra support. So your legs are gonna be in the tabletop position, so 90 degrees here, and then you're just gonna pull your knees in towards your chest. Okay, and we're gonna shoot for 20, but again, if you're just starting, start with five reps, 10 reps, 15, building up to 20. Okay, and then the last thing we're gonna do is our side plank hip lifts, okay? So with the side plank, you want your elbow under your shoulder, kind of under, the, under your ear. And there's a couple of feet variations that you can do, but I'm gonna show you guys the easiest. You're gonna put both feet, let me scoot up here, both feet on the floor. Um, you can do it stacked like this, or you can even kind of go up like this. Um, this is kind of the advanced movement, and from there you can even go all the way up. But we're gonna start here for simplicity's sake, okay? You can put your hands here, up here. You can put them here if you need the extra balance. I'm gonna go here just so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you can kind of see how my shoulder is under my elbow, um, and everything's kind of stacked nicely, and you're gonna go down and up, down, and up. And again, you can do this for time or you can do it for reps. And then you'll obviously just switch on the other side. And I'm gonna show you just a couple possibly in the um, more challenging positions. So again, you could be here and stack your knee here, hand up and go up and down, and down. Make sure you have your foot not directly on your knee like I did just there, it puts a lot of pressure on your knee. Um, or you could possibly get it up here as far as your thigh. So that is day four, guys. I hope you're enjoying these workouts. So we've got the um, downward dog splits. We've got the high knees. 
We've got the wood chop kind of working all the diagonal and we've got reverse crunches in the side plank um, hip drops. So stay tuned for day five um, and then make sure you're doing your little cobra stretch. So again, we're just gonna go on our belly like this and gently press up. Do this at the end of every workout. Hold it for 20 seconds and do three. And you can also kind of do, if your arms or your wrists are getting tired, you can also do the child's pose like this. That'll stretch out your back, your booty, and your arms. Okay, guys? So thanks so much for joining me, and stay tuned for day five. Have a great day.